Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth lesson on how to get started with XPD. In the previous lessons, I've shown you how to set up your 3D model, how to import it, and also how to add lights and camera and to change the background color um, and just an overall view of the showcase. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up materials and how to add them into material groups. First, we're going to go to the library. So on the left side, go to the three stripes and we have our media and our materials. We're going to go to the materials. This will bring us to the material library. And as you remember, when I first imported the 3D model, I created a folder for all my materials called shirt-chair. In here, I can find my t-shirt material my frame material, the seat material, and also the buttons material. So if I want to change one of these, I'm going to start with the frame. So we can see, first of all, this is a type, is a form material. I want to change this to a mesh physical material extended. This one will give the best results and has the most options to change. So that's our first step. My second step will be to add a environment map. So an environment map is to reflect a certain image on your material. I'm gonna find my reflection map. So these are all your important imported textures. If you want to add more you can select the Add button and choose a file or drag them in. For now, I'm going to use my studio environment as my environment map. And because this is going to be a metal frame, I'm just going to leave the gray for now. We have our environment map. I don't need any bump maps or normal maps. I just need to increase my metalness value. And most importantly, I need to decrease my roughness value. I'm going to change this down and you can immediately see in the preview that this is starting to look like a metal. So decrease this and increase your metalness. I'm going to increase my metalness to 1 and decrease the roughness to around 0 0.3. I'm going to save my changes and this is how you very easily and pretty fast create a metal material. If you go back to our project and go to the preview. We can now see that we have this metal frame for our chair that looks like metal, it reflects like metal, and overall it looks really good. I change over to my shirt, it's still a gray material, also the fabric of my chair is still gray. So we go back to our materials Go to the folder. I'm going to select my material for my seat. And I want this to be a letter. So starting again, change this to a physical material. Change my diffuse color to white. And we're gonna assign a texture. So I have a letter prepared. But this is also just imported with the app button. Select my letter. We can immediately see the change. Now this is a base type. So what I'm going to do is change my diffuse color to a brown. So this is going to act as an overlay. So I'm going to change this to a brownish leather. Something like this. I'm also going to need an environment map. So I'm going to select my studio environment again. This time I'm going to use a normal map. So I assign, use my letter normal map. I'm going to tone this down a bit, a bit too heavy. So I can change the value, the normal scale, and I can immediately see the changes. And I'm going to, instead of changing this value, I'm going to assign a roughness map. 
and we can see immediately the reference map. In this case, it's a bit too heavy. So I'm gonna change it to 1.2, 1.4-ish. Something like that. I'm gonna save my changes. Now I want to be able to change the fabric of my chair. So I'm going to select the add button. Create a new material. I'm gonna create the fabric. So this is, you can call this whatever you want. Select confirm. Now we have a new material. And we can start over. So physical material, select a diffuse map. I have a gray fabric ready. I'm gonna select a environment map. Again, my studio environment. And then change my roughness. I'm just gonna change the value a bit. Something like this. And save my changes. Now I have to go back to my project. And in the configure tab, I can go to my material groups. And I have my chair material group. I can edit that using the pencil, go to the materials. There are no materials assigned yet. I'm going to assign a material, find my sure chair folder, and select my material for the seat and also my fabric that I just created. Select those and it will add it to my material group. If I now go to the preview, I will still only see my letter. So it's only my letter type and I see that my bump map is still a bit too intense. So I'm gonna change that a bit later on. So I still only have my letter. I can't change between them. What we need is going back to the configure, going to the attributes, we need a question for my material group. I'm gonna select add attribute. Select a map group. I'm gonna call it chair fabric. I select add node. Inside of this node, I have to open it up and select my material group that I want to connect. So in this case, my chair material group. And I can select a display function. So I want tiles, compact, and environment. Save this. I now go to my preview. I will have a second question. So I have my chair fabric question, and I have my letter, and also my fabric. And this is how you change between them. If I go to my shirt, this one still doesn't have any texture on it. So we're gonna add that. And what we can see now is that we have one-sided polygons. So we can see the backside or through the polygon. And what we can do is a small trick for shirts. I'll show you inside of the materials. If I open up my material of my shirt, also change this to a physical. I'm gonna change this to a orange. Assign a diffuse map, so I'm just gonna assign a simple fabric texture. Uh, maybe this one. Just to have an overlay a bit. I don't think this is the correct one, but for now it will suffice. And then I can scroll all the way down. I need a bit of roughness, something like that. And all the way down, I can have a selection in my normal side. So in the render tab, we have the normal side question. And I can select the last tab, the double sided. So this will decrease a bit of your performance, but if you're using it just for a shirt, it's fine. So I select my double sided material, save my changes and go back to my preview. If I now switch to my shirt, we can see that my material is double-sided and you can see the inside of the shirt and the backside of the fabric. 
And this is how you create a double sided fabric. One more thing that could be handy to use is if you're working on something outside of your showcase and you want to quickly switch between this view and your showcase view, is that you can go to the web page of your test environment. So if you open up an extra tab, this is going to be your team name and add.xpv.net. If we go there, we you find all your active products, we can select the shirt chair and we're going to have the overview of our product. And we can switch between and see all the previews and easily switch to my materials over here or have them open at the same time by splitting your screen. And this is a very fast way to switch between your, both of your screens. So in this lesson, I showed you how to create materials and how to fill in certain maps. I also showed you how to create or fill in the map groups. So inside of the material groups, you can edit them and you add all of your materials. Inside of here, you can also switch these around so you can have every order you want. And in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up pricing and business rules.